Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Kling Lady and I'm so happy that you came here to watch my video. I thought it would be an amazing idea to create some more of Polish folk art cards. This time I decided to create all the designs on black background. If you are interested in this style or if you would like to try something completely new, please watch this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Before we go into details about the projects, I wanted to show you something absolutely amazing. If you go to Google and you put Wzory Łowickie, which is Łowickie patterns, you will see incredible number of different beautiful floral designs, which is actually based off on Polish folk art style. You can see a variety of beautiful, vivid and bright flowers and as you can see, most of these designs or patterns, they have some kind of symmetry. As you can see, most of the designs are either on the white or black background. That's why I chose to create my cards today on black background. If you're interested in this style, I really suggest you do a Google search. So let's go back to our projects. For today's cards, I chose the all to new cutting dice and stamp set. This one is called Paper Cards Vicinanki, and I use the cutting dice, but there is also a stamp set that you can use for beautiful designs. What's absolutely amazing about this die set that you can create a number of amazing designs. Okay, so here you can see all my die cuts and I put all the die cuts in muffin tray to separate the colors. And here you can see the green leaves and green elements from the cutting die set. So let's start our first card. As you can see, I'm going to work on a black background and I chose my first flower. This time I chose some pinks, yellows and orange colors. I really wanted to have some nice contrast on this card. When you create your own designs, you can go monochromatic if you want. So you can use a variety of blue colors if you want or maybe different purples or actually can go neutral as well so you can create some brown flowers uh, or you can go into gray scale as well whatever you choose will be absolutely amazing and i'm pretty sure your design will be absolutely unique and fantastic so here um i was just placing my flower because i wanted to play with the design However, I chose to put uh, the big flowers exactly in the middle, at the top and on the, uh, at the bottom of my card. And then, as you can see, I just turned it so I can put the flowers again at the top and at the bottom of my card. If you work on a glass mat or any mat with grids or lines, that will make your life easier. If you don't have a reef builder stencil. I actually wanted to show you that you can create symmetrical designs using just your glass mat. But if you prefer to work with reef building technique, you can create your own stencil. Okay, so let's go back to our card. Um, I choose to work with liquid glue. Unfortunately, I still don't have my favorite liquid glue and I had to work with a different one and I think it had more water than usual in the glue. So the card started warping. So what I did, I just put acrylic block and I left it for about 10 minutes just to make sure my card was completely dry before I started attaching all the green elements. With um, if you attach those green elements, I suggest you go with um, you start putting them on the left and on the right on the big flower first instead of the small flower. You will have better symmetry symmetry than I did here. Okay, so 
here I've got double sided tape on the back of my black panel and again I put liquid glue as well and I attached it to the card base and this one is measuring 6 by 6 inches. And that's our first card done and this one says happy birthday. I chose this um, stamp set and cutting die from my stash because I want to give this card to someone in my family next year so I'm ready and prepared. Okay, so let's go back and create our second project. For this card I thought it would be a good idea to have even more contrast so I put some yellows, purples, a little bit of blue and pink. And here we are actually going to create a wreath. So as you can see, I started putting the yellow flowers first at the top, at the bottom, and then I turned my card 90 degrees and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm trying to follow the grids on my mat just to make sure everything is evenly spaced. And when I'm done with the first four yellow flowers, then I'm going to put the rest in the middle, so between um, all those flowers. And actually that created a really beautiful wreath. If you ever struggle to create symmetrical wreath, you can use that technique instead of just going from left uh, to right, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Always start from the top, then bottom, turn your card 90 degrees and do it again. And now it's time to put smaller flowers in between the yellow flowers. Um, I actually looked at uh, the petals on the smaller flower because I wanted to make them even more symmetrical. Sometimes it just didn't happen, but I don't think no one will ever notice. Anyway, let's go back to our card. And as you can see, I'm pressing some of the flowers even harder because of the liquid glue. It the card just starting warping. And again, I had to put acrylic block on top and I left it for about 10 minutes to dry completely and make sure that the card is nice and flat before I attach any other details and small elements. Here I decided to put small green leaves inside our wreath. And as you can see, I'm going uh, top down and again left and right just to make sure the leaves are spaced evenly they're not perfect but that's absolutely fine even then i think this card is my favorite from the entire set oh by the way if you would like to see my other video when i created another set of folk art cards um i will leave the link in the top right corner. Here I chose the sentiment that says name day because we celebrate name day in Poland and it is a very special occasion. It's very similar to birthday where you can get presents from your family and friends and have an amazing cake which is always something really nice um, but we celebrate the day of your saint. Okay so that's our second project done. Actually, it was so much quick to make and I really like how it turned out. Now, it's time for our third project today. For this one, I'm uh, starting with pink flower and I'm not going to show you all the elements first. I'm just going to put them on the card so you can see how I actually created this design. So as you can see, I started exactly in the middle and I put the bigger flower at the top. Now I'm going with the smaller flowers on the left and I'll attach another one on the right hand side. I try to put my card on a grid so I can actually see where the flowers should go. Just to make sure that they mirror each other. Okay, so our main design is done and now we have to add more details for more interest and that will give something special to our card. So as you can see, I added two small blue flowers 
um, at the top and I'm attaching green elements as well. And I have to say that I really like these green elements that come in this set because you can create absolutely amazing designs. And what's absolutely amazing with this cutting die set from Altini, you can create so many different variations. If you would like to see my other projects, and I created a lot of folk art projects, uh, you can go to my blog, the link is down below in the description, where I created cards, not only square cards, but also rectangular cards, and home decor for my family and friends. I also use dice from my stash, so you will see different design of the flowers. Here I put the sentiment which says name day again, and I'm going to attach my black panel onto the white card base. I put double sided tape on the back of my black card and I put a little bit of liquid glue just to make sure it's attached properly. Now, here is our finished project. I, um, I really wonder what you think of it and please let me know which one is your favorite. If you're inspired by any of these projects, I would really love to see your creations. Please leave the link down below in the comment section. I'll definitely have a look. So, which one of these three cards is your favorite? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have an absolutely amazing day. Take care, see you, and happy crafting. Bye!